Alright, good morning church. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Facebook. Uh, welcome to uh, another uh, meeting of North River Bible Baptist Church. And uh, we want to thank you and welcome your board here back on this morning. Uh, we just hope that uh, during the course of this day and the, and the sermon on the day that something is said that will touch your heart or uh, entice you to want to come and visit us sometimes. We do have a lot of things going on with be such a small group. And, uh, and we have a lot of wisdom and knowledge among this small group. So uh, come and visit us whenever, you, whenever possible. This morning, our topic is going to be putting on the whole armor of God. I, uh, and, 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 I, and I tell the pastor this all the time, everything, you know, when we running up down the road back and forth to the mechanic shop, this and that, everything, you know. Then I, I had to read a whole bunch of scripture <laughs> to come up with a message and everything. But, uh, but this morning I didn't, I didn't really have I missed the time. I didn't really have a lot of trouble with everything. And, uh, and you're going to find that a lot of it is some weird stuff that you've heard before and everything. Uh, my uh, vision is going. I, I can't hardly see as good as I used to. But uh, I, I'm going to read a little thing. So it says that Paul recognizes that living a godly life in a godless world. It's not an easy test. This is what I said now. Paul recognizes that living a godly life in a godless world is not an easy test. He urges the Ephesians to put on the spiritual battle, battle um, gear and to get ready to stand against the wiles of the devil. I, I want to explain something. Paul wrote this because of while he was in jail and everything. And while he was there and everything, you know, he noticed that the uh, Roman soldiers, as they was guarding him, walking around, he noticed the uniform that they had on. That's okay. I'm not going to screw over this. You know, he was in Ephesus longer than he was anywhere else. He was over there in Ephesus for three years and everything, you know. So, uh, and he, among the believers in the city, and while there, he observed the uniform of the Roman soldiers. It says, during this time, they, they wore skirts. And having your lines. Okay, I can just, okay. I, I, I want to explain because uh, parts of the uniform was the built truth. And a lot of times, you know, we kind of get that confused. You know, uh, built truth, what does that actually mean? And everything. I think back to the to the military, each one of talk about the military time, and, uh, we had a, a complete uniform, they call it Mach 4, but you always had a pistol belt, and you always put that pistol belt around, around you and everything, and it had your poncho, uh, your ammo pouches, and your first aid kit and everything, you know, so if anything ever happened, you were separated, you always had a way to survive. But I think this was the idea that the Romans had back in, in that time, and everything, you know, and they had, uh, I, I'm gonna break it down, I'm going to let us all read uh, from, from the scriptures. Ephesians 6, starting at verse number 10, and going to verse number 17. And uh, if y'all will turn there, okay, I'm going to read verse 10, and then you'll read 11 and on, like that on down. And it says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We serve a mighty God. Verse number 11. Put on the whole arm of God, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that we may be able to stand in the evil day. Having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and so be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall avoid, uh, so you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Alright, before I go into the message there, you know, and I, and I wanted to kind of 
kind of established such and everything. I read the part about Paul and what he was doing and everything, and why he was there. He was a person in Ephesus. But um, I wanted to go back. You have to have a devil. I, 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 I don't know uh, but where it's not a devil and everything, you know, but behind every spirit there's a, a good spirit and a bad spirit and everything, and the devil is doing all he can. He knows he's got a short time and everything. He's doing all he can to draw all of us under his control and everything, and he's taking as many with him as he can. So uh, a, a lot of things that I'm going to cover this morning, you, think, you know, you might want to listen up to and everything. It says, uh, I'm going to go back to Job, to the book of Job. And I'm going to start at uh, Job 1, verse 67. It says, Now that was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Now, now that makes me wonder, you know. Satan is just out there. He got free reign of everything, don't he? And he can just go and come as, as he pleases and everything, you know. And, uh, and the Lord said unto Satan, What's cometh thou, Satan? They answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro mm -hmm. in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. So he's not just going from one place to He's covering the whole earth and everything, you know, so uh, So, like I said, that's an evil spirit behind everything that we do. I, I told her, uh, what's that, when she uh, got baptized and everything, she needs to be real careful. Because it seems like whenever you have a good action or something that happens real positive in your life and everything, the devil is standing right there and everything to see what he can snatch from you and everything, you know, so. So be careful about the things that you do with this thing. Okay, and also in uh, 1 Peter 5, 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So what I was trying to establish is that the devil is real and everything, you know, and all the things that we do, uh, he's involved in and everything, you know. And I, 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 I used to be a good worker for the devil. Because he didn't have to convince me to do that and everything, you know. He just went and said, hey, look at that. I, I see my own way about doing it and everything, and sometimes it wasn't the correct way, but I go out there and get it and everything, you know. And uh, I think now that I'm a, a Christian, and I want to consider myself a Christian, I have to change a whole lot of things and change a whole lot of ways that I have and everything, you know. And uh, now everything I do, I'm trying to do for the Lord and everything, you know. And I hope everybody has that same feeling, that same thing. Because us as a congregation, you know, we uh, uh we got we, we're the only thing that we have. We gotta protect each other, and everything, you know. And sometimes, you know, uh, that's not that's not possible because a, a lot of things that happen, uh, we we're, we're not we're not really aware. Of, you know, we don't really realize how it is affecting us and everything, you know. Uh, to the uniform and everything, but like I said, I think if I try to break down and, 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 and talk about each one of the pieces of the uniform, uh, it will take a considerable amount of time, so I'm just going to start. I'll pay Satan is forever present. Point number one. That was the point I was trying to make and everything, is that uh, no matter what we do in our life and everything, you know, we think we can escape everything. And, uh, Satan is always there, so just uh, uh, know that, know that in your heart and everything, you know, the only way, the only way, to, but I, and, and, I, and I want to give you this instance from Matthew, in Matthew 4, everything, I, I, I don't know the verse, I don't know if I forget, but uh, he, uh, uh, Jesus was taken out into the desert. After he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, everything, he was taken out into the desert, and uh, and Satan tried to tempt him and everything. And you know if Satan can try to tempt Jesus, he's going to tempt you. Right. And uh we 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 thank so far above everything. I, I, I talked to my son and he was talking about uh, how he had kind of slowed down his uh, his attendance and going to church. And I asked him why and everything, you know. I said, Dad, I, I know all that. I hear, but, but you can't know all this. <laughs> There's so much in here, and it's so many things he covers every way of life that we need to always stay with our Bible and everything, you know. Stay with the, the one that's going to teach us and everything. Stay with, stay with the one and the one that you know. Because uh, Satan is trying to do anything for, it, for us and everything, okay? God has all the power and everything, you know, and, and he's done everything that he can to 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 forgive us. He's uh, welcomed, it, welcomed us into his family. And for the things that we've done and everything, and, and just like on the book of, of, of Hosea that we were just talking about and everything, you know, 
we, we, we were so guilty of everything he says. Uh, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You think, you know, we, we're not doing the right things and everything, you know. And we all have sin in our life. And the wages of sin is death and everything, you know. And, and sometimes you forget that and you don't see where that's coming into play in your life and everything, you know. But uh, stay faithful. Stay faithful with the Lord and everything, you know, because he's going to do all he can. And that was point number two. Be humble by the power of God because no matter what happens and everything, the devil will never rule. Just like Job, I, I, I was telling you about the book of Job and everything, you know, and, and, uh, and Job, you know, even though everything was taken from him and everything, you know, there will be a chapter 42. Right. And that will be in each and every one of our life and everything. If you don't know and you haven't read the book of Job, go back and read chapter 42 and you'll see where he uh, made all the gains that he did in the end. Because we have done so much against God and everything that uh, for him to have that kind of uh, mercy on us and everything, you know, we, we, we need to be grateful. And it says, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. And that's what we're going to talk about today and everything. Put on the whole armor of God and everything, you know. <clears throat> I had summed it up now if I went through each piece and everything, you know, we might not get through the whole the whole message and everything. You know. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Joseph, I, excuse me, Joseph. Paul, as he saw the soldiers and everything, he saw that they had the helmets, it was the helmet of salvation. And that's what we're seeking. We are all seeking salvation and everything, you know. And uh, the helmet covers one of the most vital parts of the body and everything, and that is your brain and everything, you know. So he saw the soldiers walking around with the helmet on and everything. That was one thing, though. He noticed the uh, uh, the belt. And I told you that was the belt of truth. Uh, the reason you want to wear the belt of truth and everything, you know, and, and I know people, you know, say, well, I, I ain't never lied. I don't lie. I don't have to lie about nothing. Everybody lies every once in a while and everything. You may consider it a little white lie and everything, you know, but, uh, but I want to tell you something and everything. And I want y'all to write this down and everything. A lie being told by a thousand people is still nothing more than a lie. Uh, and you don't know what damage a, a lie can do to a, a fellow, fellow Christian. And, 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 and it's real bad when you're talking about Christian and everything, you know, because, you know, there is, is judgment and there is punishment, you know. Non-believer, you know, you know, they going into the lake of fire anyway, but don't lie on the Christian thing. You never know be a price to pay. You know, so don't lie on the on the Christian thing, you know. Okay. He girded himself about with the uh, with the with the bit of truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Oh yeah, oh. Oh, this is the one I really want to get to and everything, you know. Uh, you, you know, the breastplate kind of covers your chest area and all, and, you know, your sleeve, not your whole arm, but your sleeve and everything, you know. But in that day, they, they, they wore skirts and everything, and they would take and fold up their skirts and tuck it into the belt. And, and that was during their weight, but it allowed the movement in the legs, and they had another strap that they placed down their legs and down their back and everything to kind of cover the vital spot, spots and everything, you know. But uh, they can still have movement in the, in, in the uh, with their body and stuff and everything, you know. Uh, and they also had a shield of faith to fight off any of the devil's fiery darts and everything, you know. Uh, I, I don't know if you've ever been out there. Was, we as kids we used to play with little boring arrows and everything. They put a little nugget on the top of them, a ball cap or something. And I said, we were shooting each other and everything, you know. And, and we didn't have a way to, we didn't have a shield. We just shield off. <laughs> but that was kind of dangerous. But anyway, we, we didn't know it was dangerous. You know, we thought that was a, a lot of fun and that, especially if you hit somebody, you know what I'm saying? And it hurt. But anyway, so he had the shield of faith and everything. Always have faith in whatever you do and everything. But have faith in God because He is the primary mission. And uh, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. So always have faith in everything. And use your shield of faith. Okay, like I said, the, the, the Dewey for me, the blood that's how I have to spend a little more time to say, and his feet were shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now, 
Sometimes, sometimes, you know, when we, we think of peace and everything, you know, we, we think of world peace or something like that and everything. But if it's peace among us, amongst our brothers and sisters, amongst our Christian brothers and everything, you know, we need to have a certain level of peace. Uh, it's a verse that I like and everything. It comes from Romans 12. Uh, and let me just read it to you and everything. You, know, you don't have to look and turn there and everything, you know, because uh, if you do it, it would take a whole little while and everything. You know, but Romans 12, 17 and 18. It says, provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Amen. And, and I don't know if I don't know if y'all heard that. Yes. If it be possible. Yes. Some some people just not gonna allow you to have peace. <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it reminds me of a, a story I told y'all about the, the devil when he broke into the church. And there was one lady. So there was an older lady was sitting up front and everything. And he broke in and everybody busted out and got out the door and went outside and everything. And he came back in and he saw that lady sitting there and he said, Well, ma'am, said, did you not notice I was the devil? And I handed it. He said, Yeah, but I'm on this side. But she didn't have a problem. But anyway, uh, if it be possible, as much as life within you, and, 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 and you'd be surprised at the spirit of God. I, I, I used to be a uh, I, I box for a little while, you know what I mean? But I, I used to be a little, I, I, I don't know, rowdy person or anything, you know. I, uh, I was kind of ready. And everybody that wanted to go somewhere, they always come to get me and go with them and everything, you know. But uh, when I kind of got out of that thing, when I got into the church and I quit fighting, everybody kept trying to tell me. <laughs> I, I said, hey, I had a before guy there. <laughs> I don't know that they paid any attention to that, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, when I, he did, and he come my heart a whole bunch of things, you know, and I, I can't remember the last time I was in one, I probably should have been a few good lady, because uh, if, 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 if you uh, call yourself a Christ uh, follower, I'm going to tell you, people are going to tempt you, they're going to, they're gonna, and, and they're not going to believe nothing that you say and everything, you know, I, I, I tell the pastor, I used to tell them all the time, and everything, they would come up to me and everything and say, uh, now you come, now, every time you come around, you start talking about Jesus. Now, that was when I was real, I was real, real zealous. You know, because I, I was just happy that, that I had got saved, you know, and, and it was a, it was just unusual. And so I wanted everybody else to have that same feeling and, 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 and come to the knowledge of the Lord and everything. But, but people was real resentful, and, and, and they still resentful and everything. It, it, it was bad in, in our generation, but it's even worse now and everything. Uh, if you go and, and talk out my good nephew, I, I gave him a food table and I told him, you know, I, I'm going to bring some more, oh, and he called them little thugs over here, and let him help me load it in my trailer. I said, no, we can't get that trailer. I'm going to look at that food table, put it in the trailer and everything, you know. But anyway, I was trying to talk to him and try to tell him, you know, uh, you know, come in and visit us at the church and everything, and, you know, and maybe we can give you some ways that you can get that trailer moved and everything, you know. He didn't want to hear none of that. Now you go come to Jesus again. Oh, okay, all right, all right. And I thought he was a fairly decent Christian. He goes to church that day. And my sister tells me he goes every Sunday and everything. You know? So uh, sometimes you have people that's in the church. And I, really, and I said, that. Yeah. You, you heard that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so everybody that you see in here, you know, like I said, uh, you, you can call them brothers and sisters and everything, you know, but, uh, but they ain't got your best interest at heart. And everything, you, know? so you need to do everything you can. I, you know, and, 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 and that, that even goes back to, to talking with them and, and, and uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know, you know, uh, I, I, I talk a lot and everything, I, I know I can't talk and everything, but uh, I, I need to probably hush me sometimes about some of the things that I said. <clears throat> but I did have one more point that I wanted to make that I think, okay, uh, you or not, that's my third point. You know, you call it this I, I have one point here I want to make. It says, God will not let you go through some things to show you how he can bring you to the way you God will not, God will, excuse me, not God said God will let you go through some things to show you how he can bring you to stories that I tell and where they come from and everything, you know, but I try to show them how close God 
was with me and how he brought me through certain things because I didn't really have the faith that I needed. And, uh, but I would go out into the clubs and to the little things and everything and get in a fight and everything, you know. Uh, I didn't know nothing about God being with me and everything. But he brought me into those situations and all those tough instances and everything to bring me to this spot. If I hadn't been for that, I probably would have never met none of you. I wouldn't know none of you and everything, probably and everything. I passed the church to them. Thousand times and everything, you know. And my mother, she was just a stiffer, you know. Well, you don't get up to go to church, then? Ah, my God, I'll go next time. All right, you don't get up, ah, I'll go next time, you know. And just kept putting it off and everything, you know. And that's what I was saying. When you got on the full armor of God and everything, you know, uh, when you are absent from church, that's that's not having on the full armor of God and everything, you know. You're missing some of your uniform. Uh, when you don't tie up right, you're missing some of your uniform. When you uh, don't fellowship one with another, you miss a part of the uniform. And, and it's kind of like going into combat half naked. You, know, you, can't, you can't go in with uh, part of your uniform and not be, and be able to perform all your mission and all your job uh, sufficiently and everything, you know. So uh, when you put on that armor and being shot with the Your feet being shot with the preparation of gospel of peace. You need to think about all the uniform that you have and everything. Why you got that helmet on? Why you got that uh, shield? Why you got that full body armor on and everything? You know, gird about with the truth. The belt gird about with the truth and everything. You know, and like I was saying, you know, and it don't matter anything. You know, but a lie being told by a thousand people still ain't nothing but a lie. So if somebody has said something about you or anything, I always bring it to the leadership and everything. And uh, finally, and everything, you know, I do want to say one thing about our leader and everything. We have a, a powerful preacher here in this church and everything. You know, and he, uh, uh, I give you every opportunity to do everything here. But I want to say to the members, all members of this church are to respect their leaders and show a kind and humble spirit. They should be on guard against the temptations of the devil. I would say to you, the devil, no matter what, what you do and everything, he's always present. He's always going to come up and lift his head up. All right. If more for anything that God is trying to do in your life and everything, you know, uh, we, we're not a big congregation. We're not a big church. We, you know, I uh, have very few members and everything. But I can say that for the events that we have and for the things that we do, and for what the pastor shows and everything, you know, he, 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 he is just as competitive and some of your larger congregations and everything. And, 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 I, and I can say that the members get more attention from this small group than you would be if you was in a large group and everything. Amen. So you need to take advantage of that now and everything. You know, while we have the group, the members that we have, the, the knowledge that we have and everything, you know, uh, everybody, everybody ought to be here every Sunday and everything. You know, like I said, uh, if, you, uh, if you're not, you're missing part of your office, you're missing part of your uniform and everything, you know. And uh, you can't go into a battle half dressed and everything. I, I was going to tell you all about, about the mock uniform that we have and everything, but now in these modern times and everything, they have a material called Kevlar. And the helmets are made out of Kevlar and they're impenetrable by a bullet. And uh, they got a vest that they put on. And we went to Desert Storm and everybody was issued Kevlar vests and helmets, except the quarterbacks are human. And I'm thinking to myself, and thinking, you know, do I need some kind of protection and everything, you know? He said, well, you got an NBC uniform. You know, you put on your mop here. I said, yeah, but I, I need one of those vests too. If somebody shoot, you know, I want to be able to, to, to repel that bullet just like everybody else. They said, no, we didn't get them. So we didn't get the Kevlar. But uh, I, I, I got out of the army and everything. I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little personal, a personal note there. Thing. But yeah, let's all stop being a little more supportive of the church of the pastor. Being a attendant for every every event and every case that we have, we all need to be here and everything. And, uh, uh, I, I, I remember one time I told y'all that they think it seemed like a, a very few do the work of many, and uh, many do the work of very few. <laughs> you're, you're, okay, I, yeah, that, that'll come to you later on. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I I I, I, uh, I want to thank you, Facebook. And, I, and I'm still going to extend my offer and everything. If anybody knows of a building or a church or something that is vacant, and that uh, our church will be uh, uh, able to use, you know, uh, 
and will let us know that they're saying, you know, we have a piece of property that you want to say, I, I told the pastor before I leave, before I die, I want to make sure that he's got a church and everything that he can pass on to junior pastor and everything, you know. So, uh, so we're going to work on that and everything, and I want, I want to do it. And we do have uh, uh, communion today. Uh, if, if you're not communing with God, that's also, uh, I, I, to me, that's having a part of the uniform on and everything, you know, that's a part of it. And we only do it every so often and everything. So I think you ought to be, uh, be aware that communion, giving, fellowship are all parts of that uniform. I always put on that spiritual uniform and everything, you know, whenever you come out, whenever you come to church, be prepared to do something and do something for the Lord and everything, you know. And uh, I guarantee you, you'll feel good and feel like you've got the, the credit that you deserve. I'm, I'm not going to go, like I said, because we're going to do our communion. And then, uh, if you have any questions or anything, you know, write them down so the pastor can ask them for you to eat. Okay. Uh, let us close. Okay, I didn't mean to say that one first. Let us pray. Once again, Heavenly Father, we just come. We thank you. Thank you for this day, for this opportunity to be here. We thank you for all the members that have shown up, that have came out and everything. And we just ask for success for our vacation Bible school. And uh, you know, everything that we've gone through, you know, the things that we're going through, the struggles that we have in ourselves, within this church, and all the words that we've uh, prayed for on today. So we're, we're, we're grateful for all you do, Father. And as we go and close out the service, we want to say we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Sorry, y'all. It was so